Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just a few days ago, the popular AI video generator, Kling AI, released its brand new version 1.5, packed with exciting new features. One of the coolest updates is the motion brush, which lets you move a specific object in your image, and the best part, it's free. But many people aren't sure how to use it. So today we're bringing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Kling AI's motion brush. Buckle up, and let's get started. If you're new to Kling AI, you can check out our previous video for a more detailed introduction. So we won't go into all the basics here. Instead, we'll jump straight into the tutorial. First, head to the Kling AI website. After logging in with your email, click on the AI video option in the middle of the screen. This will take you to the creation interface. Next, click on image to video on the left side of the screen. Here's a key point. You need to switch the model at the top to Kling 1.0 because the motion brush feature is not yet available in the 1.5 model. And the 1.5 model requires a premium membership. All right, now let's upload an image to work with. We'll use a fun image we previously generated with AI, Spider-Man vs. Pikachu, and turn it into a video. Once uploaded, scroll down and find the motion brush option. Click on it to open the control panel. On the right side, you'll see six areas and paths. This means you can adjust the movement of up to six areas in different directions. First, select Area 1. Your cursor will now turn into a small green circle. That's your brush. Start by selecting Pikachu's tail. If you're worried about making an exact selection, turn on the Auto Segmentation button at the top, which makes it much easier to select specific areas. Once the tail is selected, click on Track 1 on the right. Your cursor will now change into a pencil shape. Draw the movement path starting from the tail, for example, downward. The longer you draw the path, the more the tail will move. And just like that, we've set up our first movement. What if you accidentally select too much of an area? No worries, just click the eraser icon in the top left and erase the extra parts. Repeat this process for any other movements you want to add. You'll also see an option in the bottom right called Static Area, which allows you to add stationary areas like the ground, though it's optional. Once you're done, click Confirm in the bottom right and you'll return to the main creation interface. Finally, hit Generate. And after a few minutes, Kling AI will generate your video. How simple is that? And the final result looks super cool. So what are you waiting for? Go try it out yourself. That wraps up today's tutorial. Which AI tool tutorial would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.